Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that affects many people. Frequent urination at night, also known as nocturia. If you're tired of those nightly trips to the bathroom, stay tuned for our top 8 tips to help you get a better night's sleep. We'll explore practical strategies you can implement right away to regain control of your nights and wake up feeling refreshed. Remember, these tips are for informational purposes only, and it's essential to consult with your healthcare provider to address any underlying medical conditions. All right, let's tackle the first tip, which is limiting your fluid intake before bed. Think of it like this. Your body is a bit like a water balloon. If you fill it up right before bed, it's going to want to release some of that water during the night. That's why it's crucial to start reducing your fluid intake a few hours before you hit the hay. Now, I'm not saying you need to completely dehydrate yourself in the evening, just be mindful of how much you're drinking, especially in those two to three hours leading up to bedtime. And here's a little bonus tip. Pay close attention to what you're drinking. Some beverages are like secret agents of nighttime urination. They sneak into your system and make you want to pee more often. The usual suspects are caffeine and alcohol. Caffeine found in coffee, tea, and even some sodas is a diuretic. That means it makes your kidneys produce more urine. Alcohol is another culprit. It can interfere with the production of a hormone called antidiuretic hormone, or ADH. ADH helps your body hold on to water, so when alcohol throws a wrench in the works, you end up making more trips to the bathroom. So to recap limit fluids in the evening, be mindful of caffeine and alcohol, and your bladder will thank you for it. Now, let's talk about medications. Sometimes the medications we take for other health conditions can actually contribute to nighttime urination. It's like a hidden side effect that nobody really tells you about. One of the main culprits is a class of drugs called diuretics. They're often prescribed for high blood pressure and other conditions where fluid retention is a concern. Diuretics work by flushing excess fluid out of your body, which is great during the day, but not so much when you're trying to sleep. If you're taking diuretics and finding yourself making frequent bathroom trips at night, it's important to talk to your doctor. They may be able to adjust the timing of your medication or even switch you to a different type of diuretic that has less of an impact on your nighttime routine. Remember, it's all about finding the right balance between managing your health conditions and getting a good night's sleep. Now let's move on to tip number three, which is all about bladder training. It might sound a bit strange at first, but trust me, it's a game changer for many people struggling with nocturia. Think of your bladder like a muscle that needs a little workout. With bladder training, we're essentially teaching your bladder to hold more urine for longer periods. It's like building endurance for your bladder. So, how do you actually train your bladder? Well, it starts during the day. The goal is to gradually extend the time between your bathroom breaks. Start by resisting the urge to go immediately when you feel it. Try holding it for an extra 15 minutes, then gradually increase that time over days and weeks. You can even use a bathroom diary to track your progress. It might feel challenging at first, but with consistency, your bladder will adapt and become better at holding larger volumes of urine. This increased capacity can significantly reduce those nighttime bathroom trips and help you sleep through the night. Chapter 4. Elevate your legs. Moving on to tip number four, we're going to talk about something called leg elevation. Now you might be thinking, what do my legs have to do with nighttime urination? Well, it's all connected, my friends. During the day, gravity can cause fluid to pool in our legs, especially if we're sitting or standing for long periods. It's like our legs become little reservoirs for excess fluid. At night, when we lie down and elevate our legs, this pooled fluid gets reabsorbed into the bloodstream. It's like opening the floodgates to our kidneys which then have to work overtime to process all that extra fluid. This increased workload on the kidneys can lead to increased urine production, hence those unwanted nighttime bathroom visits. So, what can we do about it? Simple, elevate your legs during the day. It doesn't have to be anything extreme, just prop your legs up on a pillow or stool for 15 to 20 minutes a few times a day. This will help reduce fluid buildup in your legs and minimize the nighttime rush hour to your kidneys. Chapter 5. Manage Underlying Conditions Now, let's talk about underlying health conditions. Sometimes, frequent urination at night can be a sign of something else going on in the body. It's like our bodies are trying to tell us something's not quite right. Several conditions can contribute to nocturia, and it's crucial to address these underlying issues to get to the root of the problem. One common culprit is diabetes. 
When blood sugar levels are high, the body tries to get rid of the excess sugar through urine, leading to increased urination, both during the day and at night. Another condition to consider is heart failure. When the heart isn't pumping efficiently, fluid can build up in the body, including the lungs and legs. This fluid buildup can trigger increased urine production as the body tries to compensate. Prostate problems in men can also contribute to nocturia. As the prostate gland enlarges, it can press on the urethra, making it difficult to empty the bladder completely, leading to more frequent urination, especially at night. If you suspect any of these conditions might be contributing to your nocturia, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider. They can perform the necessary tests, make an accurate diagnosis, and recommend the appropriate treatment plan. All right, let's shift gears a bit and talk about the importance of a relaxing bedtime routine. Think about it, when you're stressed out, your mind races, your heart beats faster, and you have trouble falling asleep, right? Well, the same goes for your bladder. When you're stressed, your body goes into fight or flight mode, and this can actually increase your urge to urinate. That's why creating a calming bedtime routine is crucial for reducing those nighttime bathroom trips. So, what does a relaxing bedtime routine look like? Well, it's different for everyone, but the key is to find activities that help you unwind and de-stress. Reading a book, taking a warm bath, listening to calming music, or practicing meditation or deep breathing exercises are all great options. The goal is to signal to your body and mind that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. By reducing stress and promoting relaxation, you'll not only improve your sleep quality but also minimize those pesky nighttime urges to pee. This next tip might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people forget to do it. Make it a habit to use the bathroom right before you get into bed. I know, I know, it sounds too simple to be effective, but trust me on this one. Sometimes we have a little bit of residual urine hanging out in our bladders, even if we don't feel a strong urge to go. This is especially true if we've been busy throughout the day and haven't been paying attention to our body's signals. By making a conscious effort to empty your bladder completely before bed, you're essentially giving yourself a head start on the night. You're reducing the chances of your bladder filling up too quickly while you're sleeping. It's like hitting the reset button on your bladder before you drift off to dreamland. So, no matter how tired you are, take those extra few seconds to visit the bathroom before hopping into bed. Your bladder will thank you for it. Last but not least, let's talk about the role of diet in Nocturia. Believe it or not, certain foods and drinks can irritate the bladder and make you want to pee more often. It's like they have a secret agenda to keep you running to the bathroom all night long. One of the main culprits is spicy foods. Those fiery peppers and spices might taste delicious, but they can wreak havoc on your bladder. Artificial sweeteners are another common irritant. They're often found in diet sodas, sugar-free desserts, and even some medications. If you're sensitive to artificial sweeteners, they can trigger your bladder to go into overdrive. Citrus fruits like oranges, grapefruits, and lemons are also known bladder irritants. They contain citric acid which can irritate the lining of the bladder and increase the urge to urinate. Now, I'm not saying you have to completely eliminate all these foods and drinks from your diet, but if you're struggling with nocturia, it's worth paying attention to what you're eating and drinking, especially in the evening. Try keeping a food diary for a couple of weeks and note down any patterns you notice. If you suspect certain foods or drinks are triggering your symptoms, try eliminating them for a while to see if it makes a difference. Thanks for watching. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more health and wellness advice. Sweet dreams and see you in the next video.